Hi, you've clicked on today's Tropical Tidbit for Sunday, June 14th, 2015. The thoughts expressed in this video are mine alone, and in making decisions, please always consult the National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service, not me. Well, here's Invest 91L, a new disturbance moving out of the Northwest Caribbean into the Gulf of Mexico this morning. There's a little bit of a kink in the flow. You can see the low-level clouds moving out of the southeast and then curving back toward the east, northwest of the Yucatan. So there's a little bit of a surface trough just north of the Yucatan Peninsula this morning. And the steering flow for this is rather straightforward. We have a deep layer ridge situated over the southeast US right now. And so the flow is predominantly toward the northwest over the Gulf of Mexico. And this surface trough is just going to follow this flow, likely right into the Texas coastline somewhere, likely around early Tuesday morning. Right now, the computer models are all situated about this track northwest into the Texas coastline, centered somewhere south of, southwest of Houston. But the details of this are still vague uh, in terms of the exact landfall point, as we do not have a closed low with the system yet. Uh, but regardless, heavy rains will be spread over the same areas, regardless of exactly where landfall occurs. And we'll talk more about the rain in a bit. Now, the question on most people's minds is, will this have a chance to develop into a tropical depression or storm before landfall on the Texas coastline? And right now, the National Hurricane Center has a 60% probability that it will develop before landfall, but there are going to be some difficulties for this system in terms of getting organized. Right now, you can see it is rather disorganized, no closed low, most of the convection rather disorganized off to the east of the surface trough, and that's largely to do with this upper level low that you can see in this counterclockwise rotation on water vapor imagery. This is not the surface circulation, but an upper level low stacked over the surface trough. This has a more subtropical look to it. This is characteristic of subtropical disturbances that uh, have trouble getting organized because this upper low prevents convection thunderstorms from getting organized over the surface trough. And right now you can see that convection is off to the east. And uh, it takes a couple of days usually for this pattern to become more favorable for these disturbances because as this uh, convection continues to fire, it releases heat in the upper atmosphere, which weakens this upper low and starts reversing the flow to a clockwise anticyclonic high. And that is what the disturbance will need in order to become better organized. But it takes time to accomplish that reversal of the flow. And we can see this in the model. This is the GFS. Here's the analysis. The wind barbs indicate the upper level flow, so you can see the upper low over the central gulf. The shading indicates low level spin vorticity, and so you can see the surface trough indicated by yellow and green here. And this entanglement with the upper level low continues through tomorrow morning, Monday morning. You can see the surface trough does strengthen here with oranges and reds showing up, but the upper level low is still entangled with it, and this is not a favorable pattern for significant organization of the storm. But by the time we get to Tuesday morning, we can see that the upper low has been eroded finally by the thunderstorms, replaced by a broad upper ridge over the northwest gulf. This is now a more favorable pattern for some organization of 91L. But you can see the center of the storm is now just offshore and about to move into Texas. So this indicates that the upper flow only becomes favorable for this system just before landfall during a short time window of perhaps 12 hours or so during which development could occur just before landfall. So this is going to be a tricky situation as the system approaches the coast, but the good news is that its opportunity will be short as it runs out of water. That said, there is one model the UK met that does spin this storm up rather nicely into a moderate tropical storm, 1,002 millibars, just before landfall. It is the only model to show significant strengthening, but it does illustrate what Texans know all too well, that systems can strengthen rather quickly just offshore of their coastline, and the waters are perfectly warm right now at about 30 degrees Celsius, uh, which is uh, very warm for this time of year. And uh, anything can happen in the tropics over warm water as the pattern becomes more favorable but the time window will be short and all indications right now are that this will not is that this will not be a very very strong system but will rather be a wet one and lots of rain is expected to come ashore uh, near and northeast of the center of this disturbance and whether or not it is a tropical storm at the time it will change the impacts very little this will be a very wet 
flooding threat for Texas and Louisiana, areas that have seen lots of rain over the last two months and a couple months ago may have been begging for a system like this to bring moisture out of the tropics, but at this point it may be bringing a little bit too much as these areas are waterlogged from the last couple of months of rain, and so flooding is the primary concern with 91L right now. The WPC showing up to 7 inches of rain near where the system comes ashore and a broad swath of over an inch over eastern Texas and western Louisiana, and then the track will continue inland up into Oklahoma and the Great Plains uh, after that. So again, right now, a disorganized system that may have a chance just before landfall off the Texas coastline to organize into potentially a tropical storm, but the impacts, whether or not it actually does develop, will mainly be heavy rain, and that is currently the primary threat from this system. More updates coming as this system continues to track northwestward. Uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.